All during the day should be pretty good. It's Monday, your Memorial Day, that doesn't look as good. For tomorrow, sun and clouds, still windy out there, 85 degrees. The boaters, this is your day, folks. Be careful because the winds will be blowing out of the northeast around 15 to 20 knots. Seas 4 to 6 feet and the surf temperature a warm 81 degrees. For us, we do not expect this system way down here around Cuba to get into our area, though, until Monday. Consequently, your five-day forecast will show you just that. Memorial Day, I wish I had better news. It's a 40% chance for a shower on Memorial Day. Then the rest of the week ahead, you got a chance for a shower. That's the way it works here during the rainy season, folks. It's the best you're going to do. I hope you enjoy this holiday weekend. Back to you, Martha. All right, Lonnie, thank you so much. It is a trend that's growing among gay teenagers, gay proms. Many teenagers are forgoing their high school proms, opting instead to attend proms organized specifically for gay teens. Tonight, members of the youth group Glory hosted its first gay prom in Fort Lauderdale. Gay teenagers say these proms provide an event where they feel safe and free from the harassment they experience from their non-gay peers. Stay with us. Joe Rose is next with sports. Everybody loves Raymond. Weeknights at 7.30 on WB39. In a flash, a life can change. There are over one million at-risk teens in America. Fortunately, there are Teen Supreme programs and boys and girls clubs nationwide, giving teens mentors, career preparation, and leadership skills, empowering them to be their best. I want to be an astronaut, a teacher, a firefighter, the president of the United States. Teen Supreme, made possible by the Taco Bell Foundation and your donations. When I get older, losing my hair, many years from now, If we'd been out to quarter to three, would you lock the door? Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? Turn up the heat. It's the Marshall's Hot, Hot, Hot Summer Event going on now. From the beach to the barbecue, you'll find everything you need for summer. Tops, shorts, shoes, swimsuits. Oh, and don't forget, outdoor games, cooking stuff, and more. Up to 50% off department and specialty store prices. It's the hot, hot, hot summer event. Find the hottest names at the coolest prices. Marshall, what will you find today? Uh, ah! Tommy Lasorda is mad. Mad? These tomatoes are rotten. He kept his tomatoes in the store's produce bag. They're out of here. Tommy, you should have put them in a Glad Fresh Protect bag. Glad Fresh Protect bags keep tomatoes fresher longer. No more rotten tomatoes? Nope. Glad's got freshness in the bag. Nice pit. Mm. Don't get mad. Get Glad. Glad Fresh Protect bags. Joe, it's been a long, long road trip for those Marlins. Was it like two weeks, 15 days? Martha? It's been a long time. You would know better than anybody how long this road trip, but you're right. It has been a very long, long road trip from the West Coast back to the East Coast. Let's start with the Marlins. The fish blowing a golden opportunity last night. The bullpen unable to hold a 3-1 lead, which would have moved Florida into a first-place tie with the Mets. Game two in New York this afternoon. Kevin Olsen getting a start for the Marlins. Ran into some big trouble in the second. Already down 2-0. Olsen gives up a double to the pitcher. Pedro Stasio knocks in Jay Payton. Next batter, Timo Perez also doubles. This one just inside the first baseline. Brings home Stasio. Mets score four in the inning and lead four zip early. But the Marlins mount a comeback thanks to some bad Mets defense. Seventh inning, Eric Owens doubles in the right field corner. Mike Lowell scores. Jeremy Burnett has trouble with it. Allows Derek Lee to score to make it 4-3 now. All right, runners on the corners for Luis Castillo. He grounds sharply to Roberto Alomar, and the Gold Glover boots it. Owens ties it at four. Hey, same situation for Andy Fox. Grounds weekly to third. Edgardo Alfonso throws it away. Can you believe this one? Bad defense in New York today. Tim Raines scores from third. Mobon gives the chase, but Castillo is just too fast. Beats the play at home. Another Mets air. Fisher up 6-4. All right, the fans not real happy. You can hear them booing. Vladimir Nunez gives up a run, but strikes out Vaughn to end it. The Fish go on to win this one, 6-5. to five. All right, Barry Bonds 
has swung his way into the record book once again. Bonds blasting number 584 career home run today in a 6-3 loss to the Rockies, moving him fifth place all time. Can you believe it? Wow, the Eastern Conference Finals moving to Beantown tonight. The Celtics taking home court away from New Jersey after a split in the first two games. The Nets trying to pick themselves up after losing home court, pretty much dominating in the first half. Pretty much dominating in the first half. We're going to show you highlights here. I promise you're really going to like them. We don't have them. Well, trust me, it was a wild game. In the first half of this game, Boston was actually up, or excuse me, down by as many as 20. But in the second half, they come back after being down by 26, one of the wildest fourth quarters you'll ever see. Paul Pierce took over. He had 18 points, part of a 28-point game that he had for the game. The guy was just outstanding as Boston goes on to win this game. Hey, let's go on and talk some hockey now. I know we have highlights for that, baby. Take a look there. That's Drury on the score to give the Avs. Can you believe it? The Avs take a one-zip win in this ball game to tie up the series at one. Hey, I know pretty soon things are going to work here, and we're going to keep on rolling here. Let's just move on here to Toronto and Carolina. Canes and Leafs from Carolina. Do or die game from Toronto. I've got you. Here we go. Pat Quinn says he sat it out. Can you believe this one? But the Leafs played plenty of heart. Second period. Darcy Tucker redirects one off the skate. One zip leaves. Curtis Joseph. Top 27. Toronto wins a one zip. Being 10 strokes back after two rounds. Pretty soon we're going to get this. This has been a fun Saturday night so far. I want you to hang in there with me. We're going to get on the same page right now. We're going to the third round of the PGA Memorial today. Tiger Woods not playing real well. Let's go to the highlights. A high-scoring day at Dublin. Tiger having trouble with his putter all weekend. Sinks his only birdie on the eighth hole. Shoots an even par 72. 12 shots off the face. you got to have shows like this. The top of the leaderboard, a three-man show. Justin Leonard drops in the birdie putt on 11. Goes to 12 under. Finishes 10 under. Two shots back of this guy. Bob Tway hasn't won a tour event in seven years, but played a bogey-free third round, four under 68, one shot ahead of Stuart Sink for the lead at 12 under. And that will do it for a very <laughs> shaky sports, but you have to have one of these because it builds sports character. Martha, back to you. I hope we have video for this. Joe, you know what? For you, you're so good, you don't need any video. <laughs> like it, Joe. It is a celebration Cuban style. We have it. Some of Latin music's biggest names pay tribute to 100 years of Cuban independence. Stay with us. Closed captioning of tonight's WB39 News is brought to you by Nextel, how business gets done. Dennis, listen, got a little advertising opportunity for you, Pally. Uh, foot powder. Yeah, foot powder, right, forget about it. Well, before you say that, it, it's a truckload of money. Sam, I don't do commercials, period. Hey, you're preaching to the choir, I told them that. Know why I don't do commercials? Why is that, pal? Because they're dishonest. They lie. Well, that's strong language. I don't... I'm supposed to peddle some product I don't even use. Forget about it. I'm not going to do it. I wouldn't let you do it. You better believe it. Get out your Disney memories and start packing. Pembroke Lakes Mall wants to send your family to the Walt Disney World 100 Years of Magic Celebration. You'll celebrate all your Disney memories in grand style in honor of the man who started it all, Walt Disney. Have your bags packed and ready to go at the Pembroke Lakes Mall Friday, June 7th at 3.30 p.m. 25 lucky families will be instantly whisked away on a magical weekend getaway to the 100 Years of Magic Celebration. How do I look? Goodbye, size 14. Goodbye, diet jitters. Goodbye, feeling tired. Goodbye, cravings. Hello, results. New all-natural Dexatrim Results. Dexatrim Results helps you feel good while you steadily lose weight. Nutrition-based Dexatrim Results combines a unique blend of antioxidants, vitamins and minerals often lost during dieting, plus six natural energy sources and fat burners. Can you have this in a smaller size? Yeah. New Dexatrim Results. Look better, feel better getting there. Where's he gone? The company claims that the arrow testing is going very well. The Arrow, tonight at 11 on WB39.
music filled the air tonight as local musicians rocked the James L. Knight Center in celebration of the 100th anniversary of Cuba's independence. The all-star lineup included Miami's own Willie Chirino, Roberto Torres, and Albita. Concert benefits the University of Miami's Institute for Cuban and Cuban-American Studies. Well, if you're headed to the beach this holiday weekend, experts warn, don't forget the sunscreen. An increase in the number of people diagnosed with skin cancer has dermatologists concerned. Doctors remind us that overexposure to sun can cause melanoma, a dangerous form of skin cancer. They recommend using a sunblock with an SPF of 30 when spending long periods of time outdoors. It is time for us to say goodnight. Thanks so much for watching. The Drew Carey Show is coming up here next on the WB. We hope to see you back here tomorrow night at 10. Good night.